I saw on Twitter that this webtoon will soon have the official English translation on Lezen. And it comes highly recommended because yeah. this webtoon has a lot of hot guys and a lot of sex scenes. So freaking hot that you will not regret purchasing these chapters in Lezen. Everyone is so stunning. The Seme is such a hottie with his delicious bod and thick bleep. <laughs> and the Uke, you better ride it till dawn because my gosh, it's thick. <laughs> we will be very far ahead from the Lezen release because they, as of this recording, Lezen just released chapter 6 on the, uh, the official English translation and this podcast will start at chapter 15 just because when they release the chapter 15 in the Korean lesson this is such a good scene that I just have to start here um, because I don't really want to comment on the first 14 chapters and this chapter 15 is you know probably my most favorite chapter in this series as of now there's still more chapters coming and this chapter is really promising <laughs> Anyway, if you don't want to get spoiled, then you have to close this window now. But I'm going to make a review on chapter 15 because this is the best chapter so far. Before we get started, I just want to remind our viewers that if you like seeing more Yaoi content and would like to support this channel, please don't forget to smash that like button. Also, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. Feel free to message me in my Twitter or Instagram at SealedFujoshi, which I'll be using to interact with viewers about more Yaoi content. If that's something that interests you, feel free to follow me at SealedFujoshi. Finally, this video will contain explicit content and a lot of manual spoilers. With yeah. that in mind, please proceed with caution. You have been warned. Now, without further ado, let's jump into chapter 15 of Pearl Boy. The reason why I chose to start a chapter 15 and completely ignore the first 14 chapters is because the beginning chapters of this series totally made me feel uncomfortable but it was so good that I still added it in my reading list I thought that the name was weird because you know it's called Pearl Boy when I saw this I was like what but Pearls really do come out of his pee pee when he comes. Like, what the F? <laughs> the author does not clickbait. There's no clickbait here. <laughs> He's literally coming with pearls. <laughs> this is a good example of how pearls are made, I guess. But trust me, ever since I started reading this manhwa, I will never look back or like I'll, ne I'll never be able to look at pearls the same way again. <laughs> that freaking semen is freaking expensive. <laughs> and you think pearls are expensive. <laughs> anyway, just to remind people, you know chapter 1 to 14 it's so full of you know violent theme scenes so if you're sensitive to those things take caution while reading this story the good thing is though not that I'm condoning anything else but you know the the violent themes of this series is not between the main couple it's the you know third party who 
is very violent to be honest but the main couple is pretty you know healthy in their own way um i first thought that dosik might you know i mean he is a tiny bit greedy with those pearls because you know at the beginning of the story he's introduced as someone who's broke someone who's homeless and yeah like he it doesn't seem like he he does care about those pearls but he also cares for juha you know i really hated seeing juha being violated you know like it's especially since it's his boss's fetish you know but Juha is so beautiful and seeing him getting hurt and seeing him cry in despair it's so heartbroken ha heartbreaking so i'm really happy that Dosek protects his lovely young at all cost because I'm really hoping that Juha will not get violated again by those mother fricks because I'm gonna join Dosik and I'm gonna go riot. <laughs> now, back to this chapter 15. This is my favorite chapter so far and it contains the sweetest, you know, sex chapter. And I'm so overjoyed that they're finally gonna fill the closet first. <laughs> that image, I can't get it. I can't get it out of my head. Like they're gonna be busy that whole night for them to fill up a whole closet. But the way that they're going at it in this chapter, I will not be surprised if they do fill up a closet full of pearls. <laughs> It's really not bad for their first lovely night together. Not that this is their first time spending the night together, but you know, this feels like their first um, mutual feelings, sort of, but it kind of feels like it. I don't know how to label it, but you'll know what I mean. <laughs> you know, it kind of made me worry that there was that scene where Dosik was playing with the pearls on the floor but he was also kind of cute you know I really hope yeah. there won't be too much drama and hopefully there's a lot of fluffs you know because I'm really starting to like this couple a lot anyway I'm so curious about their past especially you know Juha like how did Juha get in debt and what actually happened between Juha and the boss the boss is such a scumbag and all those freaks who hurt my pearl baby boy they're they have to pay but I want to know the backstory of you know the boss and Juha because um, we kind of have an idea about Dosik already so anyway I hope you enjoyed today's episode please don't forget to follow my social media to be teased about some of the boys love that I'm interested in feel free to leave a message and converse with me I'd love to hear back from you also don't forget to support the author all the manual details can be found in the description below again thank you so much and hope to see you next time